Financial Accounting. Welcome. We are starting with Chapter 1 of Financial Accounting. And I wanted to share with you uh, first a little history lesson about accounting and where it came from. And maybe this will make a little more sense then. We're going to be talking about the accounting equation and how it came into being. And the accounting equation is assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. And I want you to think back to um, the Middle Ages, the Renaissance, when folks decided to go exploring. And they would take ships and they would load up those ships with a whole lot of resources and sail off to far lands. And so, in effect, here's my ship. You can tell I'm an accountant, not um, an artiste. Uh, they would take these assets or these resources. So assets are resources. And they would load the ships with these resources. Now, most of the time the explorers didn't have a whole lot of money themselves. So what they would do is they would go out and say, hey, have I got a deal for you. If you give me resources, when I come back from, the sh from my ex exploration, I will pay you back. And if they did that, then those resources were basically financed by uh, promises to pay in the future. And promises to pay in the future are called liabilities. So those are their promises. I promise that I will pay you back. So liabilities or promises are what we call responsibilities to others. So that was one deal. They got resources on the ships because they made promises that, to financiers that they would pay them back. And then they got smarter and said, hmm, why don't we do this instead? Why don't we form a company? And if I form a company, I could get not financiers, but investors to invest in my company. And so I will say to these investors, if you give me resources to load on my ship and to, f and to um, underwrite my voyage to China or wherever, then what I'm going to do is give you ownership in this company. In other words, I'm going to give you stock. And stock or owner's equity means that you are an owner of the business instead of just getting a promise to, for repayment. So when we look at owner's equity, we're looking at investors or folks that give me money and invest in, if I'm a corporation, stock in my business. So let's just call it common stock because that's what we'll be using most of the time. And common stock is ex external ownership in the business. So the ship is filled with resources, assets, things that have future or potential value. It sails off into the future and maybe it returns. And when it returned, those, finance, those who financed the trip, who got promises, were repaid with what? Interest. And those that invested in the voyage, in the company, not only received, um, well, they received a share in the profits of the business. In other words, they probably could have been better off than those that just, what, financed it. So those investors, because they're owners, share in the profits of the business. And that's where this basic accounting equation, assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity, came from, from exploration and trading voyages.